everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and on today's video, we're going to be talking about Git CLI again. Uh, in last video, we talked about a, the basics of Git CLI. I'm going to post the, the link for that video here. And we went through how you can uh, deal with the staging, right? How can you clone the repository, pull, push, and add? And today we're going to be talking about branches. How can you deal with branches? And I'm going to go over the the three uh, presentation that I did. I'm also going to be posting the link for that three presentation, and I'm also going to be posting links for how you can set up your Windows to have uh, a a Git terminal and how you can set up your GitHub on your computer, Mac, Linux, and Windows. Right, so <clears throat> let's start here. I have a a Git repository here, which is a version control I just created. There is nothing there. Uh, in the previous video, we went to the same process. <clears throat> And we're going to start creating this tree here, right? These exactly three, these exactly three here. So this is what you're going to be creating. So let's start with the branch, the master branch, right? We already have a master branch, and this is the master branch, right? So I'm going to create have an IntelliJ on that folder. There's nothing here. I'm just going to create dummy files. So I'm going to create a new file here, scratch uh, new file, and I'm going to give it a name, um, master branch first file, it's just a text, and this is going to be called master branch first commit. Alright, so if I do a git status here, I have a master branch file here. I'm going to uh, put git add in the file, git status, the file is already there. We are creating this first commit, um, git commit creating the first file. Awesome, I have one commit. I'm going to do my second commit. I'm going to say master branch second commit. Right? I can do git add dash p to go through the commits, the, the actual changes. I do have right, I'm going to leave the IntelliJ file as it is. I'm going to do another commit and creating my second commit awesome we created this second commit here right so now we're going to go for the third master branch third commit same process git add and git commit third commit, right? Awesome. If I do git log, I do have a few uh, commits here already, right? Git log, a few commits here. Awesome. So now we have these three commits and I'm going to move to the branch. So I can do git branch and it says that I have only one branch. You can see that my branch already here, but this is very specific for my terminal. And I'm going to, in, in future vi future videos, I'm going to show how you can have that same the same setup. But now I have that branch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new branch, in which I do git branch, and I'm going to call it red. When I do git branch, now I have the red branch here. I can do git checkout, which is the same command to check out a commit or a branch. To actually go into inside that branch or inside that commit. So now I'm on my branch red. As you can see, if I do git branch, you're going to see the asterisk on the red. So 
if I do git log, this is on this is a commit. My creating my third commit, it's already on both red and master. This is this is not right, and this is my branch red and master. So this is my first commit. What I'm showing as as this first commit here. So let's have that second commit, right? So I'm um, now I'm going to say git commit. So I'm going to create another file. This is my master branch file. I'm going to create a file called new file. And I'm going to say red branch first file. Right? Awesome. So git status i do have a file here git add in the file git commit dash m red create first file for red branch if i do a git log i have here my branch red and create first file for red branch all right cool Note that I have access to, um, although I'm on a branch, I have access to everything that went behind it because when I create a branch, it was created from this, right? So although when I create the branch, it was the content of whatever was here, I have access to everything here, to this whole branch, right? Awesome. So I had my first commit, now I'm going to do my second commit. So the file was that one, so now I have my red branch second commit. Git status, git add, git commit dash m, red branch second commit. Third commit now. Third commit, git status. git add and git commit third commit awesome so now if i do git log that's our everything there so this was on my master branch on my red branch red branch and everything here is on was on master branch but the the red branch has also access what he was behind it right below it we have three commits and now we have this. So, but the master branch is going to be it's going to be in parallel, right? So you are coding on your red branch. Somebody else is going to be uh, putting stuff on master. So the branches are independent. So how that is going to look like? We're going to do git checkout master. We're going to go back to master, right? And now if I do git log. I don't see any of the red branches commits, right? It stopped on creating my third commit. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here on my master file and I'm going to say master branch fourth commit and git status, git add, it commit master branch fourth commit I missed the code great if I do a checkout on my branch red the branch red doesn't have access to the fourth commit you can see that it has access to what it went behind so if we see in the picture it has access to everything here but it does not have access to here. And the master branch also does not have access to any of these. We can actually see these visually. So any visual tool would, would help you out, I think. Uh, I have a, yeah, see here also shows a little. This is not very intuitive, the command line. But if I do here, uh, 
in the, the this command that I did it's a alias I'm going to show you how you have alias but that's basically this command here which is a huge git log so in order to see that you'd have to type everything here which is not feasible right so if you go to IntelliJ and you go to VCS virtual control and you have git and now you can go to show history right here show history and Git's going to show you the the history of that branch right so I'm watching the history of that branch this is specific for the master branch I don't have access to uh, I do have access on the log here is the history of the master branch but if I go to the logs you already can see that we had a initial commit third commit and then we created a red branch and at this point they were the same it had, and you can see that this has access to this and uh, but this does not have access to this and the red branch does not does not have access to the master branch after that point that's 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 amazing so moving forward we're going to create now another branch and this time we're going to create it differently right so note that this is created from the master branch so i need to do git checkout master right and now i'm going to create a blue a blue branch but what instead of doing git branch blue and then git checkout i'm going to do everything in one single command i'm going to do git checkout dash b which is going to create the branch that's for the b and is going to check out check out at the same time so i'm going to say git checkout blue so it's already switched to blue and created blue so if i do git branch i have three branches here right and git if i do git git log it has access to uh everything that we created so far right uh of course it does not have access to the branch uh the red branch only have access to whatever we created on the master you can see on the commits it has only commits related to the master so i'm going to create the first blue commit i'm going to create a new file which is uh file blue branch first file this is a plain text so blue branch first commit the same thing this is a new file i'm going to add this i'm going to do a commit dash m blue branch first file first commit first file uh i'm going to those are three commits right so i'm going to do a second commit and i'm going to add git status git commit <coughs> third com second commit and i'm going to do another one which is third commit and git add git start just to make sure and third commit right so if we we take a look here what we are doing is is showing that i'm on the blue branch blue, blue branch right <coughs> so that's awesome so whatever we have, what else we have here uh we started to create a, a, a purple branch right so note that the purple branch was created from this commit not from the head right so when i do a git when i do a git master check out master i'm on the head of the master when i do git blue i'm on the head of that blue uh branch specifically right so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a 
purple branch from this second commit from the branch red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do git checkout red. I'm going to see log, git log. And this is from my second commit, right? So I'm going to copy this hash and I'm going to do git checkout, the same checkout command for the branch. I can do a checkout on a, uh, on a commit. Here it's already changed, it gave him a, a, a couple of information related to me being detached. But if I do git log from the tree, if I do a git log, I don't have access to the third commit anymore. I only have access to the second commit below because I did a checkout here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a branch from here. Do git branch, git checkout, the same command that we already learned, purple. So now I have a purple branch, which I'm going to create. The, I have three commits here. So I'm going to do new file. No. Uh, purple branch, new file. Yes. I don't want to put on virtual control yet. So I do have purple branch new file, git add git status, git commit dash m, purple branch new file. That's great. If I do a git log, I do have purple branch and I do have my branch bread second commit because I do have access to everything that went here and I have access to these two here right so if I go back down there I have access to the initial commit they creating the first file on my master branch creating my second commit which was on my master branch my third commit was my master branch as well I do have access to my uh, first file for the red for the red red branch which was my first commit and then my second commit on my red branch. So I do have the historical file of everything that came here. The same thing goes for blue. I do have access to everything that went here, right? I on the red I don't have access to this, right? On my brain master branch I don't have access to any of those branches. Great, so we created a third one. So so see how, how this is looking now. I do have a master here. I zoom a little I do have a master here master branch this is my master and now I created the red and now I created the purple right and the blue it's it's falling here because I haven't changed the blue the blue uh, it's following the same pattern as, as the master but now from here I created a purple which is this one I haven't created any commit. Oh, I have created the, the the new file for the purple, but I haven't created the commit yet. So now I'm going to do a purple branch first commit second because that one was already the file. I do git status git add git commit purple branch second commit and i do have purple branch third commit git status sorry i forgot to do add and now commit my third commit and you can see here that the tree is it's changing right so my red and my purple so what we need to do now my master branch started to go differently right so now my master branch has one two three commits ahead of the head of the master which i do have right now if i do git checkout master 
I'm on the head and now I can come here and I say okay now I do have the fourth fifth six and and four fifth six and seven so I do have fifth its status git head git commit master branch fifth commit I do have the six the same thing and now it's going to be the six and I do have the seventh seventh which git add and seventh uh, git commit dash dash amend I can change a previous commit so I just want to change the the typo there if I do git log I do have all my commits here right? so you can see that the tree here it's kind of different right so let me finish and, and we, we can actually take a look at the at the tree itself I, but I have a ma I have my master I have my red branch I have my purple branch I do also have my blue branch All right cool um, so what happens now is now I want I, I'm happy with my changes on my blue branch and I want to merge my changes and send everything that I have on my blue branch to my master branch. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a command called git merge. So if I take a look at the difference between there is a command called diff which I can say git diff blue and it's going to show all the difference between the master branch and the blue branch right? because I'm on the master branch when I do another com I can do git diff on a commit so if I do git log and I choose this previous commit here I can do git diff and the commit and say oh the only difference is this which is the seventh uh, I can do git with the blue and it's going to show everything that changed between the blue and the uh, the difference between the blue and the master branch so I'm on the master branch what I'm going to do I'm going to say I want to merge the blue branch so I do git merge blue so the the git is going to get everything from the blue and it's going to put on master uh, that's the commit message merge branch blue I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that I save the file and blah, it, it changed everything and it figure out so I'm on my master branch and now my master branch has everything on the branch plus the blue branch file so it has already whatever I, I did on the change there was no conflict because we didn't change the same file so we made it made, made it easier so now we're going to do the same thing on the purple the purple is like okay we need to do the same thing here I can do git diff purple and it's going to say the same thing right there, there was some changes uh, but now I'm going to get everything from the purple to the to the to the master git merge purple the same thing so now I have the blue on my master branch I have the blue branch file which was the merge and I have the purple branch file which file which was also the merge from the purple branch right so this is the tree that we have and now master branch has everything here right everything it has access to everything on the blue and everything on the purple so if I do git log it merged the blue it's it merged the purple Right. and he has uh, and if we, if we can take a look it's seventh six uh, the purple branch which we, we, we did 
uh, the purple branch second commit, the new file, the blue branch. So it has access to everything here. So when, when we, we did the commit, it, it changed, it got the content from here to send here, but we do have access to everything, right? Individually, right? If I do a git checkout here, so if I do a git checkout on the second commit here, I'm on the master branch, git checkout in this one, which is the purple, we only have access to that commit specifically, right? Git checkout master now is going to go back to everything that we have. So if you take a look at the tree here, so we have the branch, so we have the commit, the master branch, and then we created the uh, red branch, right? So this was the red branch, the starting of the red branch. And the red branch deviated a little when the third commit. So when we look here, the red branch, this branch, the red branch started to go. And then from here, it became the blue branch and it went on. So the purple branch. So this is what it's saying here. The, the red went a little, it has one commit extra than, than the purple branch. And the purple branch went in a different, uh, in a different, in a different uh, evolution, right? All the way to be merged to master. The blue branch it started, and then it had a few commits, and then we merged as well. So now we can actually see the the tree itself. the The red branch, it's there is nothing here. It was left over. We can delete or we can merge. I'm going to choose to delete. So what I'm going to do is git branch dash d uh, red. I'm going to do big D and I don't have the red branch anymore. And it was gone. See, don't we don't have that that specific branch anymore for the red. We still have access to the red commit because of the blue branch. Because, sorry, the purple branch. The purple branch, when we created, we created from this, this commit here on the red. So we still have access to this, but we don't have access to this one. This is gone. I don't have access to that anymore. So this is what I specifically want to show you about branches, how we can create branch and merge branch. Of course, this is a, was a very simplistic way of, of, uh, of dealing with branches because there was no resolution of conflicts. But then you already have a sense of how we can create branches and, and use branches. And this is very useful. Let's say you are still doing some code that's not fully functioning, it's not working. Uh, but then you, you also want to share that code with somebody. You want to, uh, or you're going to leave it for vacation or, or, or holidays or something. And then you can put on a branch, make a save that code, share that code with someone, or we can actually use a feature branch, which is every new feature you create on a branch, you develop on that branch and then you merge that later on. So there are a few ways that you can deal with branches. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And we are going to be uh, evolving and learning new commands and new e e e ways of using Git as we go. So please make sure you subscribe. Right? Thank you.